Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. We gather together on this new and beautiful morning in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, this morning God's living word reminds us of the importance of being people who give in a spirit of generosity to others. Let us stand humbly and honestly before the Lord, acknowledging our own sinfulness, turning to our Lord for his abundant mercy and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and to bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have prepared for those who love you good things which no eye can see, fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love so that loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promises, which surpass every human desire through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated, everyone. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, say to the prince of Tyre, thus says the Lord God, because you are haughty of heart, you say, a God am I. I occupy a godly throne in the heart of the sea. And yet you are a man and not a God, however you may think yourself like a God. Oh yes, you are wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that is beyond you. By your wisdom and your intelligence, you have made riches for yourself. You have put gold and silver into your treasuries. By your great wisdom applied to your trading, you have heaped up your riches. Your heart has grown haughty from your riches. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, because you have thought yourself to have the mind of a God, therefore I will bring against you foreigners, the most barbarous of nations. They shall draw their swords against your beauteous wisdom. They shall run them through your splendid apparel. They shall thrust you down to the pit, there to die, a bloody corpse, in the heart of the sea. Will you then say, I am a god, when you face your murderers? No, you are a man, not a god. Hand it over to those who will slay you. You shall die the death of the uncircumcised at the hands of foreigners. For I have spoken, says the Lord God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It is I who deal death and give life. It is I who deal death and give life. I would have said I will make an end of them and blot out their name from men's memories. Had I not feared the insolence of their enemies, feared that these foes would mistakenly boast It is I who deal death and give life. Our own hand won the victory. The Lord had nothing to do with it. For they are a people devoid of reason, having no understanding. It is I who deal death and give life. 
How could one man rout a thousand, or two men put 10,000 to flight, unless it was because the rock sold them, and the Lord delivered them up? It is I who deal death and give life. Close at hand is the day of their disaster, and their doom is rushing upon them. Surely the Lord shall do justice for his people. On his servants he shall have pity. It is I who deal death and give life. Alleluia. 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 Jesus Christ became poor, became poor, although he was rich, so that by his poverty you might become rich. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, I say to you, it will be harder for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of heaven. Again, I say to you, it is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. When the disciples heard this, they were greatly astonished and said, Who then can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, For men, this is impossible, but for God, all things are possible. Then Peter said to him in reply, We have given up everything and followed you. What will there be for us? Jesus said to them, Amen, I say to you, that you who have followed me in the new age, when the Son of Man is seated on his throne of glory, will yourselves sit on 12 thrones, judging the 12 tribes of Israel. And everyone who has given up houses or brothers or sisters or father or mother or children or land for the sake of my name, will receive a hundred times more and will inherit eternal life. But many who are first will be last, and the last will be first. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I haven't seen the commercial in a while, but when I see the commercial, got milk, got milk, That word got reminds me of how it is not what we have gotten, but rather in what we have given that is of utmost importance. Jesus reminds us in the gospel today that our life is made rich, not by what we possess, but by what we share from the generosity of our hearts. Not what we possess, but what we share from the generosity of our hearts. We are called to use things in order to love people. Sometimes that can become twisted, where we find ourselves using people and loving things. We are called to love people and to use our things for their help. This morning, as we celebrate the Eucharist, let us realize that the greatest commandment is love. And love is all about self-giving and outward movement towards others. There is no room for selfishness, which is an inward movement towards oneself. Let us stand, please. And called as we are to be people of generosity and goodness in a spirit of giving to others, let us entrust to our Heavenly Father 
these prayers of petition. For Pope Francis, may God give him strength as he shares our Lord's message with the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the salvation of the world. May the love of God through the witness of the church touch every heart on earth. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have suffered trials and testing of any kind because of the global pandemic, that the Lord may be graciously with them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray on this Tuesday morning for the intentions of Anthony Nguyen, for the intentions of Helen Perez as she celebrates her birthday today. We sell, we call to mind the repose of the soul of Ignacio and Theodora Kabila Lunario, for the repose of the soul of Hilaria Shahagan, and for the repose of the soul of Romulo Pobre. For all of them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our own personal intentions. Heavenly Father, help us to realize that it is in sharing from a generous heart that our lives truly become rich. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have (coughs) received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all of the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy 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 Lord, Lord, God God of hosts, hosts, heaven heaven and and earth earth are full of your your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. highest. Blessed Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna in the the highest. highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. 
Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim, proclaim your, your death, death, O Lord, o Lord and profess your resurrection, resurrection until you come, you come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all of the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And so we stand together, my brothers and sisters, and realizing that we are truly rich when we give in a spirit of generosity to others, let us pray the words that Jesus has given to us. Our Father, Father who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed, hallowed be, thy be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will, will be, done be done on earth, earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. us. And lead, lead us, us not, not into temptation, temptation but deliver, deliver us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace. My peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will 
who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, God, you take take away away the sins sins of the the world. world. Have mercy mercy on us. Lamb Lamb of God, God, you take take away the sins sins of the the world. world. Have Have mercy mercy on us. Lamb Lamb of God, you take take away the sins sins of the the world. world. Grant Grant us us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not not worthy that you should enter enter under my roof, but only only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. healed. My brothers and sisters, for those of you who are at home, let us pray together now the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, Jesus, I believe believe that that you are are present present in the most most holy sacrament. sacrament. I I love love you you above above all things, and I I desire desire to receive you into my soul. Since Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. My brothers and sisters, since communion will be distributed after Mass, I will hold up the Eucharist now and say the body of Christ. And if you as a faith community will respond, please, amen. The body of Christ. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Made partakers of Christ through these sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that conformed to his image on earth, we may merit also to be co-heirs in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Just a reminder that after Mass, we will have an opportunity for confessions in the courtyard, and we also have another announcement this morning. Uh, That's right. After confessions, uh, well, after communion in the courtyard, the chapel will be open until 9.30 a.m., and you can enter the chapel by going around the building to the parking lot side and entering through the open door. And then later this evening... I invite all of you, whether you're all of you, to join me for a Zooming at St. Dennis at 7 p.m. Uh, tonight I will continue my teaching on the Ignatian practice of the daily examen, where we look at the events of our day and see where God has been uh, moving and acting in our lives throughout our day. So please join me tonight at 7 p.m. via Zoom. The Zoom link is featured on the website S-T-D-E-N-I-S dot O-R-G. 
The Lord be with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be, Thanks be to God. God.